Hey CEOs, sometimes do you find it difficult to locate your files because you can't remember where you put them? Well, if you are using Google Workspace, which is previously G Suite, I'm going to show you how to organize your files in a way where you never lose a file again. Hey, it's Tanya Harrison here of Signal Partners and creator of Savvy Operations Society membership. And I help CEOs maximize their time and grow their businesses using technology, tactics, techniques, and team. So this is an example of one of my, um, my drives. And before we actually dig in, I want to talk to you about how you organize it from the beginning. So the first thing you want to do is if you've decided that I'm going to use Google versus, you know, um, OneDrive, because there's other options. If you've decided that you want to use Google Drive, that is the one decision. That's the first decision, right? So I use Google Drive for my business. So I have my domain that's through um, Gmail. So even though I use G Gmail, it still shows up as signalpartners.com. Um, and you can do that as well. And then I get the extra space and all of the other things that come along with it. But one of the things that a couple of things that you want to do is you want to use folders to organize your files so that you don't have a bunch of files that are sitting out there all over the place. Think about your business from a hierarchy perspective, right? So I have this overarching hierarchy and then within that hierarchy, I have other components, right? So for me, if you look over here to the left, when I first started out, with my um, Google Drive, I had a couple of different things, right? So I had emails separated from social media and all of these things separated. At some point in time, I decided, you know what? I need to have all of my content under one folder. So I have a folder that's called content management and up under there, I have everything that um, references all of the different pieces of content that I use. So if it's an audio tip, it's a blog, you can see all of the different folders um, that I have underneath that. So think of how you want to structure it, what's going to be that top layer, and then uh, drill down into it. So I have folders inside of folders. Um, when it comes to my clients, I separate the years. So you can see um, 2021, I have here, this is my corporate clients, my ops clients. This is a, um, a 90 day coaching program that I actually have. Uh, and then my retainer clients who I work with on a monthly basis. So I have folders, like I said, inside of folders. So you want to think about how you want to structure that from the beginning. The other thing that you want to consider is using naming conventions, right? So for instance, when I'm working with clients and I am sharing information with them, I label their information in a certain way, right? So it could be the company name or the client name, underscore, whatever it is, um, whatever the file contains. So just think about that naming convention of how you want to name things. And then the, the last thing that I'll say about this part is you also want to consider sharing, um, you know, and security, right? So what folders and what files I want to share. If you have a team, there's going to be certain things that you want to share. So you want to, you know, share your processes and they will probably have view only because you don't want them to make updates or however you want to do that. But think about the folders that you want to share with your team versus those that are not going to be shareable. So, you know, your business documents or your business strategy uh, may or may not be shared with your entire team. Um, and then, of course, anything that you're sharing with your clients, you would share directly with them. So that's what I want to say about that part. But the other thing that you want to uh, think about is when you're talking about being able to quickly go in and grab a file, there's a couple of things that Google has done that I think is really neat to kind of help you along, right? So you have this right here where it says, and I'll close this because <laughs> my list is pretty long. You'll see here where it, where it has priority. So Google on its own, they decide some of the files that is priority, right? So it could be from uh, the, your frequently used files or files that you have recently 
um, open. Those would show up under your priority. Then you have an option to star files, right? So if you have files that you use on a regular basis, you can actually star them and then they'll show up here. So you don't have to worry about going and looking for them. You can just click on this and it'll be right here. So anything that you use on a regular basis or you want to be able to quickly go um, and get a copy of, I would recommend storing those here. And um, so that's great. The last thing um, that you can do is you can create workspaces. So, um, and these could be anything that you want and you can set those up where I have a list of files that I want to be able to, again, quickly access. So for me, I have my email marketing resource. So um, these are files that I use on, um, on a regular basis or I want to be able to quickly go to. So if I'm working with a client and I'm helping them with their email strategy, there are certain things that I want to be able to either share with them or even uh, access. So I have three different uh, marketing, email marketing providers that I partner with. Aweber um, is one, Clavio and MailerLite. So those I use, uh, those resources I use a lot when it comes to those things, right? So I have those listed there so I can quickly go in and find those files. So just think about how you want to structure it. And then again, make sure that you are using the resources and the tools that they have, right? So being able to quickly see your priority, um, being able to see any start files that you have. And then if you go back here, you'll be able to see your workspace. Um, one last thing I want to mention when it comes to this is, is that if you go up here to settings, you will be able to set up a view the way I have it here, where you have priority at the top and your workspaces under, underneath it. If you go here to settings and you scroll down, you'll see where it says make priority my default homepage. So anytime I go into my Google Drive, this is what I see. I see whatever has been indicated as a priority and then I see my workspaces. All right, so I hope this helps. Go ahead and get your files organized. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.